Unwin is the leading name in wheelchair restraint and occupant safety solutions, and with its portfolio, including brawnability lifts, field ramps and rebar doors, it delivers complete crash-tested solutions to maximise accessibility for all. The purpose of this video is to provide training on the safe operation of the brawnability lifts, including the general safety measures that need to be followed on a daily basis. For the purpose of this film, we are using a Brawnability Vista split inboard lift. While you might have purchased a different wheelchair lift, the functionality shown in this film will remain the same across the whole Brawnability inboard lift range. Before using your inboard lift, the following safety measures should be carried out by a trained person. Check the handrails to ensure they are secured. Check the outboard barrier to ensure it is locked into position. Once you are satisfied that everything is working correctly, the inboard lift can be used. Park the vehicle fitted with the Brawnability wheelchair lift in a safe parking space and ensure the vehicle is as leveled as possible to the ground. Once the vehicle is safely and securely parked, actuate the vehicle handbrake. Enough space must be allowed not only to deploy the inboard lift, but also to enable the wheelchair user to manoeuvre his or her wheelchair on and off the lift platform. Turn the power on by using the switch on the lift. This will turn on the handset and the platform illumination lights. Take the handheld control and press the STOW button. If your inboard lift has not been used for a while, the lift tight safety devices might have been engaged to stop the lift from damaging the door. Pressing the STOW button disengages the lift tight. Ensure the attendant and the service user are outside of the lift deployment area. Press the Deploy button to unfold the lift platform until it reaches the vehicle floor level. Press the Down button on the handset to lower the platform to ground level. The inboard lift only operates when your finger is pressed onto the switch. If you remove your finger from the switch, the lift operation will stop. All Brawnability lifts are fitted with fluorescent strips around their platforms to indicate the correct wheelchair loading position. Wheel the wheelchair user onto the lift platform, ensuring both wheelchair user and attendant are positioned centrally within the loading area. Turn the power off on electric wheelchairs or apply the handbrake on manual wheelchairs. Before operating the lift, ensure that all persons and or equipment are clear from the operating platform mechanism. Ensure no persons or equipment are overhanging the platform. The combined weight of the wheelchair, its occupants and the attendant must be below the lift safe workload, indicated on the sticker. Ensure the wheelchair and attendant are not obstructing the lift inner and outer barrier. Press the raise button on the handheld control to lift the platform to the vehicle floor level and allow the inboard barrier to form a safe bridge into the vehicle. Turn the power on or undo the brakes on the wheelchair and transfer the wheelchair user into the vehicle. Check the footprint of the lift is clear from obstructions and there is sufficient space at the back of the vehicle to allow the lift to fully stow. Press the STOW button until the lift is fully stowed into the vehicle. Turn the power off. To exit the vehicle, the same checks and procedures must be used. Emergency stop can be used at any time to stop the lift operation by pressing down the emergency button. To reset the emergency stop mode, pull the button upwards. In the event of an electrical failure, the lift can still be operated should a passenger need to safely exit the vehicle. 
to operate the lift in this situation, remove the pump handle from the front of the power pack and fit into the valve on the opposite side of the power pack. Turn the handle sharply anti-clockwise for a quarter of a turn to unfold the lift to vehicle floor level. Turn clockwise to stop the lift into position. Load the wheelchair user onto the platform. Fit the handle into the power pack valve and turn gently anti-clockwise for a quarter of a turn to allow the platform to lower to ground level. Turn the handle clockwise until tight. Unload the wheelchair user. To lift the platform back into the vehicle, put the handle into the pumping position, then pump until the platform is fully folded. Stowing the lift away will require additional effort. 